Hi, Dennis Ray here. If you need a good PDF viewer or editor, you don't need to install third-party software on your PC. You can use Edge. Yes, I'm talking about the browser. Windows Microsoft Edge is not only an excellent browser, but also a top-notch PDF viewer and editor. This is how to use it with your PDF files. First, how to open a PDF form with Edge. So we go to the form that we want to open up, right click on it, and in this window we hit open with, go down to choose another app, and then we hit Microsoft Edge, and then down here always use this app to open PDF files. Check that and hit OK. And now we have the form open in Edge. In the future, we can double click on any PDF file we have and it'll open up an Edge. If we hadn't made Edge the default program, it would ask in, up here in this area if we want it to be the default program for PDF files. And you just hit yes and you're good to go. If you have a fillable form, you can easily fill it in. Uh, believe it or not, not every viewer is capable of doing that. Edge has some really nice features on the top row. Uh, for instance, it has this table of contents where you can select which page you want to view. And it has a search bar where you can go over to Decide, type in a word that you want to see on the form, like I already typed in deduction, so I wanted to see where it appears on the form. And uh, it shows me on the form everywhere it appears, and it's highlighted in all the areas that it appears. And by the way, this form comes from everyone's favorite U.S. government agency, the IRS. Moving on in the toolbar, there is zoom out, zoom in, rotate, uh, view page width, page view, which you can view it either as a single page or two pages. Then there is read out loud. Form W4. Department of the Treasury Internal Revenue Service. Employees Withholding Certificate. And it has some voice options over here on the side where you can speed up the voice or slow it down. And then if you hit the down arrow, you have a choice of uh, different voices and different languages. I've read some time ago that intelligent people are curious people. I've been curious about how our small appliances work, so I took them apart to see. But I couldn't get them back together. Now we have new small appliances, and I know how they work, by magic. Please like and subscribe, and satisfy your curiosity by watching videos on the Dennis Ray channel. Okay? Thank you. Then there's add text where you can make text box. This you can make larger, smaller. You can move it where you want it. Uh, you can change the color of the text. And uh, you can type in your text. Make it larger, smaller. Make it wider, less wide. Delete it, and there you go. Draw, where you can underline, or you can strike out, you can change the color. Right now it's blue, you can change that, say, like red, and then we can make our underline, we can strike out something said we can uh, change the color uh, let's go to yellow okay. 
change the thickness. Let's go back to blue. That's pretty thick. A very nice feature. Highlight. Uh, of course, you could change color, yellow, the thickness, but uh, if you go to the form, you can highlight whatever you want to as far as text there. And uh, it says you can change it from thin to thick. Right now it's thin. Thick. I don't see a big difference to you. Yeah. And then uh, text only highlight. So if you want to highlight anything on the form, you can leave it as it is. If you want to highlight only text, then you turn this on. So anything will highlight um, like a box. So if I turn that on, I can't highlight the box. So we'll just check it. There is a race which will erase everything Except text. There is print, save, save as, and this is full screen view. And some settings, just a couple of them. Uh, view document properties. If I right click inside the form, I get this box. It has some of the same tools that are on the top bar. Add text forward, refresh, print, cast media to device. And I'm not exactly sure what that is all about. If I click on it, it says, Looking for devices, no devices found. I click the I for information and it takes me to another page. Choose a device below to get started in the help center. I don't have any of these devices, so let's forget about that. Back to this. Right click on that. And uh, read aloud. Rotate clockwise, rotate clock counterclockwise, web capture. If I hit this, I can make a selection on the form and make a screenshot of that. And back to this, uh, the rest. Okay, we can forget about the rest. And if we go back to the form and uh, make a selection of one word in the form, Right click on it and has some of the same tools as on the tall on the toolbar again highlight add comment if I hit this I can make a comment inside the form and it will stay there for me to print or save it too. copy search for withholding and if I hit that I get some information but withholding on another page. Now let's, yeah. Or search sidebar for withholding. I hit that and I get information about withholding on the side. Define holding. There, there's a definition of it.
Um, print read aloud from here. So if I hit this, it'll read aloud just the area that I selected. Rotate clockwise, counterclockwise, web capture. Okay, and has everything. Check spelling and grammar. Okay, very good. If you need more functions for PDF, see my other videos, links in the description below, about a couple other programs that you'll find very useful. That was using Edge to view and edit PDF documents. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Take care. See ya.